Hello, I'm Andy Furco, Associate Vice President for Public Engagement at the University of Minnesota, also Associate Professor in the Department of Organizational Leadership Policy and Development. And I'm very delighted to have this opportunity to offer this course on global youth leadership and community engagement. Across the globe, we are seeing the cultivation of young people as agents of change to empower young people to make a difference in their community. And this course is going to take a, a look at what different countries are doing to engage their young people as agents of change and how this work is being incorporated into primary and secondary schools in particular. Uh, this course is a six unit course that takes place over the summer with a set of course sessions at the University of Minnesota and then four weeks in Latin America specifically in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Uh, and we picked Buenos Aires, Argentina primarily because of the robust nature of the community engagement work that our, the young people there are doing. All high school students at Argentina are required to do a community engagement project uh, for graduation and part of that is because of this notion of solidaria that they have for young people, seeing young people as critical, um, important contributors to many of the complex social issues that are in, in, in the, the communities throughout the, the nation. So our students will be spending some time with um, one of the leaders, national leaders in Argentina, and I would say throughout Latin America, Professor Maria Nieves Tapia, and we're working very closely with her. She um, worked at the Ministry of Education for many years to develop um, the community engagement programs, what they call aprendizaje y servicio programs um, throughout the nation, and runs an organization called CLIS, which is the Centro Latinoamericano um, uh, de Aprendizaje y Servicio Solidario uh, Initiative. CLIS is a um, multinational consortium throughout Latin America which engages countries throughout Latin America in advancing community engagement, service learning, and youth empowerment initiatives. So our students will be working with um, Maria Nieves Tapia and participating um, with some of the, the students who are working on projects um, throughout, our, uh, primarily in Buenos Aires, but also visiting some of the other projects throughout Argentina, and then participating in the national conference that they have at the end of August. Just to kind of give an overview, um, begins in the, um, in, in, uh, at the University of Minnesota uh, in, uh, on the Twin Cities campus. We have uh, four weeks of uh, nine sessions that we offer uh, starting at the end of June and going through uh, the end of July where we do a survey of different community engagement initiatives, the theories and practice of this work how it's emerging in different countries. We look at different continents and of course what we're doing here in North America and in the U.S. And then um, with that basis and that work, we um, engage our students in, an, in a field site visit down in Buenos Aires for four weeks where they'll take conversational Spanish, where they'll learn about the notion of solidaria, which is very different than the ways we do community engagement for youth here in the U.S. and other countries uh, and how other countries approach it as well. And then um, our students will um, ultimately come back um, at the end of the summer and do some presentations which will involve some comparative analyses. Um, we're going to ask each student to look at how we approach community engagement for youth uh, in the U.S. with how it's done in Argentina and to select another country where these programs are very robust and very uh, much part of the culture of, of the educational systems there. Students will be graded based on a number of things. We have a, a, a couple of, 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 of reflective papers that students will be a, uh, required to submit. Um, students will submit a proposal for their comparative analysis, selecting the country that they're going to be looking at in addition to the U.S. and Argentina. Students will also be graded on their course participation. This is a highly participatory course. And um, students will also be graded on their presentations that they do at the very end.
Um, we are looking for a broad range of students to participate. I think this course is open to students from any major, um, uh, mostly undergraduate students. Uh, primarily, this is an undergraduate course. Um, we we think probably that um, uh, sophomores and juniors will probably benefit most from this course, um, but uh, we welcome students from, from other levels as well, and that's something that I'd be happy to talk with you about. I'm also working with um, Alfonso Sintago, who is um, one of our students from uh, Venezuela, who is a PhD student here, who's been instrumental in developing the course, and he will be participating in, in all aspects of the course as well. So we hope you will join us and uh, participate. And Of course, if you have any questions, please do contact me. I can be reached at afurco, that's A-F-U-R-C-O, at umn.edu. Thank you.